Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jerry from simplycyber.io and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. I have been getting a ton of questions about this certificate on my live streams. Questions like, is it any good? Should I get it instead of a different industry cert? Can it help me get a job? By the end of this video, I guarantee you, I will have answered all those questions and many more. So do me a favor, get comfortable, buckle up, and let's dig into the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. <laughs> Now, before I reveal all the answers about this certificate program, if you're looking to break into the industry, I want to make you aware of my morning daily live stream, the Simply Cyber Daily Threat Brief Podcast. It's every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern live. There's hundreds and hundreds of practitioners who are in there networking with each other, and we basically cover the top cyber news stories of the day. I've been in the industry 20 years. I give my opinion on each of those stories on how you can operationalize it. It's all about good times. Link in the description below if you want to join us on the next live stream. I also want to thank Corsair for sponsoring this video. The thoughts and opinions are my own though, but definitely appreciate the hookup. I am going to cover a ton of information in this video. So if you're interested, I put bookmarks below so you can just jump to the you know section of the video that matters to you. So let's get into it. The Google Cybersecurity Cert. What is it? First of all, it's a Google Cyber Security Certificate educational curriculum designed for beginners and offered by Google through the Coursera platform. It's literally designed for people with no prior experience in cybersecurity who want to learn the fundamentals of the field and pursue an entry-level career in cybersecurity. That is the deal. If you are pivoting out of your current job and into cybersecurity, if you just graduated high school or college and you want to get into the field, if you're a retiring military, doesn't matter what your age is, doesn't matter what your situation is, prior background knowledge. This is a solid, fundamental, approachable, no prerequisite type course for you to get. It's going to cover networking, threats and attacks, security tooling, risk management, compliance, IR or incident response, ethical hacking and cloud security. Now, what's important to note is the curriculum is actually broken up over eight different courses, okay? The courses are about network security, managing risk, fundamentals of information security, right? So that's your first course. Linux, SQL, you get on the command line, you talk about incident response, you learn Python, right? There's a just a ton of diverse information and topics that are covered in here. Now, I didn't want you to think that I'm just like making this stuff up and spitting it out at you. So I actually signed up and took three of the eight courses. And as you can see right here, I got, you know, this is like the certificate. I got three of them in total for passing this. This one is for the network and security course. So every time you pass one of the eight courses, you get this cool cert that you can share on um, your socials and add to your professional resume as far as what you've accomplished and how you're doing with your progress. The eight courses, as I mentioned, are the fundamentals. Here they are up here. Now, this is what it is. I've told you also who is it for, right? So if you're looking to get more information, then this is perfect for you. I myself have 20 years of industry experience. So this is a bit, you know, level one, day one type stuff for me. So I was able to actually just kind of crank through, take the quizzes and see what's up. You know, there's a large group of people who are looking to learn and get more information on cybersecurity. So that's absolutely the deal. Now, is it any good? Good question. In my opinion, I, I took it. The courses are good. There are video content, there's reading content, there's some like hands-on kind of like exercises where like you draw a line from this box to this box to make it right. There's a quiz at the end of every section um, to assess your skills. It is a good course. Now the depth of knowledge that it gets into, it's very heavy on the theory side, a lot of explaining how things are and how they work, a little less on the technical hands-on side. They do have something at the end of every course. Remember there's eight courses. At the end of each course, there's kind of like a, essentially like a capstone project where they like give you a scenario and then you're supposed to kind of execute whatever the ask is. So like, one of them was like doing a risk assessment. They have like a, a toy company with like a situation and you're going to scope out the audit. And then the next uh, document they give you is kind of like your findings of the audit. It really does spoon feed you. You're not getting as much practical hands-on skills of like actually conducting the audit. But the nice thing is they show you the before and the after. They invite you to make an attempt at looking at the before and then kind of drafting what you think it could be, you know, after, and then compare your answers to them. Another phenomenal thing that is super valuable is that each section at the end where they have these like risk assessment templates or shareholder memorandum or whatever, you're allowed to download those templates and keep them for yourself. So as you finish all of this coursework, you're actually building a nice little toolbox of information and templates that you can then leverage for your own benefit in work or in, you know, making a portfolio or what have you for 
potential employers or when you do get employed. So that's definitely wicked awesome. One thing to point out that's very, very interesting is that course and the other eight courses, they do provide you with an explanation on suggested schedule, how to keep you accountable. There is a message board so you can share with other students. You are able to take it at your own pace. So it's it's asynchronous learning. So this is very practical if you like work days and then you have the kids or whatever. And then when they go to bed, you want to crank out a couple hours of learning because you're working on pivoting into cybersecurity. So it's very flexible in that way. And I absolutely love that and appreciate it. One interesting thing to note is the course is free for seven days or the 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 entire Coursera platform is free for seven days. I was able to, you know, log in and sign up for these classes, rip through them and, you know, take them and then go on to the next one. I am on day two of my seven day free trial. You do have to put a credit card in when you sign up. So if you don't have a credit card, that's going to be a, an immediate blocker for you. After the seven days, they will charge you $49 a month for access to the platform. So it is possible to grind and go through all eight courses in that seven day free trial. But based on the amount of time and activities inside the course, um, they say it's 170 hours worth of content. Each course has like a four week training schedule as a suggested schedule. Like I said, I went through three in, in one day. There are different scales for different people, but I want you to be mindful that it would be really hard if you have zero background to jump in this and absorb all of this content in a meaningful way in seven days. It's possible, but it, it could be difficult. So just be mindful that you may end up having to pay $49. I would say one month is probably enough time if you prioritize learning this content. One month is definitely a reasonable amount of time to just drink from the fire hose and get on with learning this uh, stuff, but important to note. Now, can I help you get a job? We'll say this. I looked at job postings and I did not find a certification in job postings. However, what I will say is the eight courses, they cover everything from like incident response to digital forensics, to security operations, to pen testing, to cloud security. Like they cover a whole bunch of stuff, right? It's very, very comprehensive. So what I would say is while there isn't a job saying, do you have this cert? There is a boatload of knowledge that you would gain, which would enable you to speak intelligently during those job interviews. And I would also strongly encourage you to take whatever you learn in these courses and put that on your resume. As a hiring manager, I'm interested in what you can do for me. If you just said, hey, I completed this particular course right here. Hey, I completed the Connect and Protect Network and Network Security class. Hey, I completed the Play It Safe Manage Security Risk class. As a hiring manager, I don't know what that means, right? Manage security risks. I mean, are you talking about physical security? Are you talking about hardening operating systems? Are you talking about standing up a firewall, GRC work, educating the business on best practices and that's reducing risk? Like, I don't know what that means. But if you tell me that you used a packet sniffer to analyze packets on the wire in order to determine, you know, a compromise of an external host or, or something like that, like you'll be able to piece together quite a lot of resume bullets based on not just the content in this, but also those capstone projects at the end of each course. So definitely a lot of value there. That's how I would see it helping you get a job very, very specifically. Again, you know, you get certificates for completing each section. So definitely don't sleep on that. How does it stack with other industry certs? As I mentioned before, there are some really, really well-known industry certs in the industry for entry level. And this particular one, the Google cybersecurity certificate, I don't hear it bandied about in circles as far as like the entry level certificate. Again, having said that, the knowledge is super valuable. And I didn't do a one-to-one -one crosswalk, but my anecdotal review of this is that all of the content that are in those certification, those industry certs for entry level, all of the knowledge that you're actually tested on is inside of these eight courses. So you are getting the knowledge. You're actually getting more than the knowledge that's required for those. Cause those like the, the one I'm thinking about, the big one in the room that doesn't, you know, find out if you understand how to write code in Python, or if you know what SQL is, or if you can like use a Linux command line, it's, it's you know, it's a multiple choice test. So I actually argue that you get more about that. I would encourage you, there's a link in the description below to go check this out. Like I said, it's seven days for free. Go check out the course content at a minimum, bang out one of the courses, see what it's like. Like I mentioned, each course has kind of a different vibe and flavor to it. So you might be able to just get in there and do the detection and response course because you're looking to bone up as a SOC analyst, right? So you could just focus on that. Or maybe you've never learned programming and you want to pick up Python in a cybersecurity way. Take that class, right? So you don't have to do all of them, but you might be able to take advantage of some of it uh, in that seven day window. And who knows, maybe you just continue on. So 
Use the link below. I want to you know, say thanks to Coursera for allowing me the opportunity to collaborate on this video as well as going in and taking those classes myself and really uh, being able to answer your questions, the community's questions around what are your thoughts around the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. Super pumped about it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Again, thanks so much to all of you and hope to see you on the Simply Cyber Discord server where there's thousands and thousands of aspiring cybersecurity students and active practitioners who are networking, engaging, supporting each other and being inclusive. I'll drop a link. You definitely want to jump on that one. I'm Jerry from Simply Cyber. I hope you got value from the stream or from this video. And until the next one, stay secure.